Hello everyone. Uh, so, at this moment, I'm uh, gonna share you how to do a, a float mapping using Sentinel One data. So I think it's already often done, but I'm gonna show maybe do it uh, in a multi temporal way. You know, from 2016 up to uh, 2023. So yeah, every year. So we're gonna see we can map them all out every year. Then we see how often the flood happen. You know, which you know there's will be flood hazard. Okay, let's get to it. So in here, I'm using Sentinel-1 data, you know, the only one that available in our engine. The Sentinel-1 GRD or ground, I think I forgot the name, uh, ground range, uh, I forgot the GRD. <laughs> I think it's the yeah, ground range detected. Uh, so they're using l -band, I think, yeah. So first I decided the area that we want to analyze. I'm using Palembang, my hometown in uh, South Sumatra, Indonesia. Well, this area is often flooded. I mean, my school, you know, my um, is often flooded. So, in wet season, I think like December, January, yeah. Uh, sometimes the, the school just closed, you know, because it's flooded. <laughs> okay, that's why I'm making this video. That's also why I did my thesis on flood, you know, for the SOG or something. Okay, let's go. First, uh, and then I decide uh, the years, you know, the old last. So, I think Central One have data from 2016. So, let's do it all. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Then I'm going to decide what's considered a wet season, what's considered a you know, dry season. So I think at this moment I'm using uh, wet, you know, uh, in, you know, from December, uh, you know, only from December. So December 1 to December 31. And for dry, I'm using uh, Jul uh, August, August 1 to yeah, August in the end of the day. Okay, you know that I'm going to map basically just for loop basically. I'm gonna for loop for central one, you know. I filter the year, filter the date. Uh huh, it seems that I forgot to filter the bound right? to for, for easier analysis, I think. Okay. <laughs> filter bounds. I forget to do that. Bounds. Yep. So yeah, after I filter the area, I filter the bounds, yeah. I also filtered the transmitter, so I, we didn't use all every single image, basically, only the one that we actually we need, uh, which, you know, VV and VH band, although we use only VV, you know. <laughs> then uh, I select the, only the VV band, you know, just only, we don't need with, with one band, we don't need every band, so yeah. Then what I did is that uh, first, uh, I'm going to reduce the area, reduce the image collection because uh, we need to get the lowest value, basically. So it's a personal time, you know, not, not minimum. Because I'm afraid we will have uh, some kind of anomaly, some outliers, just so 10 minimum is fine. Then you're gonna clip the image, you know, clip, so only in this region. Then you're gonna do a uh, focal mean. Focal mean, basically just speckle filtering. So you're gonna make sure that the effect of salt pepper, you know, this small itty pointy stuff is gone, you know. Then I show, uh, so this is the image, maybe it's gonna show you one image. So this is Sentinel-1 and 2016 in the wet season, yeah. Then this is the in the dry season. Let me show you. See, you can see that it's less dark, right? Yeah, the dark one is water. So with this idea, we can, you know, roughly really map, you know, where water happen between season, basically. Uh, so yeah, next, uh, uh, I'm gonna do, uh, make a water mask. So after I some research, you know, just experiment in this area, my area is is gonna be fifth, uh, minus fifteen. So if it's minus fifteen. And below, it's gonna be vultures. You have to adjust this for your own area. This might be different, but I think for uh, Palemba, it's gonna be minus 15. So yeah, that's how we do it. And we saw a bit of this. Also, I'm gonna show you the in the wet season. So, you know, blue color, you can see the blue color, right? The dark blue, and yeah, that's in wet season. Then for the dry season, I'm gonna color it in like sky blue, yeah. So yeah, so it's only fewer, right, than before, fewer. Okay, then what next is that uh, I return the image, you know, and then what it is that I'm gonna, you know, use some uh, log logic, you know, some uh, relational. So if it water is wet and it's not dry, it can be flood, right? So basically, every water that is not in water dry, you know, in water wet, is gonna be flood. So this flood in 2016, yeah, this color blue season. So it doesn't encompass the river, right? Only the this is some itty bitty area below here, so that's the flood. 
So we do it this all for every single year. And I calculate the full area too here. You can see the graph here. <laughs> it's not really matter, just calculating. Uh, the result will be, you know, I sum the, all the value, you know, sum the results. Then I divide it by year, so we can get some kind of from index, you know, uh, of how often or frequent the flood happen every year. Yes, as you can see here. Yeah. So if it's red, it's then it's flood is often happen there, you know. If it's white, not so much. So yeah, you get some kind of, you know, uh, uh, how often the flood happened there. And you can also show you the permanent water, you know, where's the actual permanent one, yeah, this is the river, this is the permanent one. Well, the red one is not so often, you know, basically. Yeah, no, the red one. Yeah, but the red one is often flood, you know, so yeah. So this is how I do the, uh, you know, flood frequency or hazard flood event map, basically. You can do it, uh, you know, for every area, just track area. For example, I'm try to drag this area to uh, Jambi, also my hometown. Uh, it's really close. The same area, this uh, 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 surrounded by a big river, you know. Uh, this is Batanghari River, and this is Musi River. So yeah, it's a big river. It's very big. It's also dangerous. <laughs> Not a flooding even. So yeah, the concept is the same, exactly the same. Just yeah, see. Some area has often been flooded. If you can see here, you can see the flood, you know. Well, actually, it's just a uh, uh, wet farm, basically. But, you know, it's flood happened there. Let's see. And it's permanent. Permanent is always coughing the water only. <laughs> yeah, here we go. And this is the boundary. Yeah, this for Yambi. You can see the... Oh, the graphic. Oh, oh, 2018. There's so many flood there. But not everywhere, just there. Yeah. Okay. So that's it, everybody, uh, for my video today. You can see that I uh, you know how often flood happen in flood hazard one. Ah, so yeah. If you have any question, just mention me, okay? Hey, goodbye.